Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to enable webhooks for your multi-branch pipeline. Let's say that you have configured a multi-branch pipeline, right? Let's say that this is the multi-branch pipeline you have configured. But how does multi-branch pipeline would know whenever developers are, you know, creating a new branch and then pushing the code change? How does Jenkins pipeline would know that, you know, someone has made a code change, right? So that is what, you know, we are going to solve it in this particular video. So how can we fix it? There is a plugin called multi-branch scan webhook trigger plugin, right? So when you install this plugin, once you configure this plugin, you know, you should be able to resolve that issue, right? Awesome. So let's get started. So guys, this is my website, coachdevops.com. I will be posting the link right below the video as well. Awesome. So let's get started. So like I said, this is my Jenkins and I have already configured a multi-branch pipeline job. If you wanted to learn how to create or how to set up multi-branch pipeline job, please watch my previous video. Okay. Awesome. So if you go to configure section, let's look at the existing configuration, right? For this uh, multi-branch pipeline. Okay. So as you can see here, uh, this does not have any trigger. You see here, this does not have anything, right? So basically, uh, whenever developer makes a code change, uh, you know, this would not know, right? Until you manually click on this option, right? So this is like a manual click, right? So whenever you click on this, and then, you know, it is going to scan through the source code, and then it is going to uh, create necessary uh, pipeline job for you, right? So that is what, uh, you know, it is going to do, right? This is by default. I mean, you have to click on this. Okay, so what we are going to do, we are going to enable hooks, right? So for that, we need to install this plugin. Let's go to uh, Jenkins, manage Jenkins, and go to manage plugins, sorry, ma yeah, manage plugins, and then go to install. Manage plugins, available tab. And we are going to type multi branch scan. Yeah, see here, this is the one multi branch scan webhook trigger. So select this one and then click on install without restart. Perfect. Plugin has been installed. Okay, perfect. And then let's go to the job. This is the job which we had created. Click on configure. We see this option, right? Scan by webhook. So click on this one. All we have to do is provide the token information, right? So I'm going to set up a token, something like my token. Okay. And then how are you going to tell uh, GitHub that, right? To call this uh, pipeline job. So you need to click on this question mark. Wow. See here. So this is the URL, right? So this is how we have to set up the URL in GitHub. So let's actually copy this. Okay, so I'm going to go to my GitHub, right? So this is the project what we have configured, right? So this is the project what we have configured, uh, as you can see here, right? Okay, so let's go there and then go to settings, go to webhooks. Let me delete the existing webhook. go to the books click on add the book this is where you know we are going to paste the jenkins url right and then if you see here what is the token so this is my token right my token and of course it is case sensitive okay and then you you take care of the jenkins url right and then we need to take care of the jenkins url so what is the jenkins url so this is my oh i have to actually save this let me save this so this is my Jenkins job URL, uh, Jenkins URL, paste that over here, right? So I think that's pretty much over there, right? And then we can change this into application JSON and then add the book. Okay, and then click on the web book, right? Yeah, see here, so we got this uh, green arrow mark. So it means that the configuration is actually good, right? Awesome. So now we have configured our job successfully, right? 
now we have configured webhook successfully so if i make a code change isn't it if i make a code change this should automatically you know uh, scan the uh, github and then it should uh, you know create a new pipeline right so let's actually do that so how to make the code change what i'm going to do um, i'm going to actually refer to my link here so this is the uh, you know link which talks about you know creating a new branch from the command line let's actually do that okay so what i'm going to do let me quickly connect to my ec2 instance this is my code right so this is where my uh, repo has been uh, configured this is my local repository okay and if you wanted to list all the branch see it so this is how you are going to list all the branch right so now it this has about four branch okay so what i'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and then create a new branch. Okay, so how to do that? So very simple, right? Just say git checkout minus b. Let's actually see. I forgot to see which branch we are actually right now under. So we are under bug fixing branch. That's fine. So let me do one thing. Let me uh, switch to main branch. Okay, perfect. And now I switched into main branch, and of course you can see that here, right? And then we are going to create a new branch. Okay, so I'm going to say git checkout minus b for branch and then you can give any branch name right so of course i do have developed here but i already have that branch so what i'm going to do i'm going to call this as new feature branch right okay so here new feature enter now if you type this command git branch this is going to show you a new branch right perfect and then all we have to do is if you just perform git push um, right yeah it's not going to allow you so you need to you know enter this command this is going to allow you to push your new code changes right enter that wow see yes now our code has been pushed okay so let's go to Jenkins click on here click on just click on this one you don't have to click on anything else wow see here the Jenkins job was able to detect the new branch as you can see here it automatically you know started creating the uh, pipeline job for you why the new branch right of course if you click on refresh so this is a new branch which we committed right so again this already has a Jenkins file in it isn't it so basically multi branch pipeline was able to scan through the branch and then it was able to create the pipeline job okay so don't worry about this okay so this could be due to several reasons right i mean this could be uh, if you see this is uh, it is failing right so this is due to some job failure and all right so so that's fine right so yeah so that's how guys you know that's how you can set up the books for your multi-branch pipeline job thank you for watching this video